Hi, my name is Hannah and I am an institutional researcher. Institutional research refers to higher educational research and they are responsible for projects such as enrollment reports and student success related statistics such as retention rates and graduation rates. They're involved with a lot of state and federal reporting as well. On a typical day, I start off with um, creating in daily enrollment reports and the enrollment reports are related to the credit hour counts and the head counts. After that, I might get a couple um, data requests and uh, work on those or uh, mark them down and do them later. A lot of the data requests are from various staff members regarding uh, a, a list of alumni, uh, students with high GPAs, dual credit students, very high variety of information. My main responsibility is state and federal reporting. Uh, we, I work at a community college and we submit data to the state and they use this data to do our federal reports. The data is related to human resources data, student data, uh, classroom data. The process is usually that IT will generate the data for us and then we will analyze it to make sure it's accurate and then we'll communicate back and forth with IT and various departments that will change the data if data corrections need to be made. Once the data is uploaded to the state, they will, they might ask us questions about it and we'll either have to um, recalculate some of those variables or we'll tell them that the submission is okay. The typical work schedule would be um, about a nine to five office job. However, sometimes uh, deadlines need to be met and the hours can extend and the stress level is also pretty average but on certain times it can be very stressful. Beginning level and intermediate level institutional research jobs will always at least require a bachelor's degree and a lot of times a master's degree is preferred so most people filling those positions would have at least a master's degree. For the uh, higher up leadership positions such as director or dean, uh, a master's degree would be required but a PhD is preferred so most people filling those positions would have PhDs. And the people in these positions uh, come from social science programs a lot of the time and then having a strong IT background or an IT related degree is also acceptable. There are also institutional research certificate programs on the graduate level available throughout the country. Uh, right now there's only nine but that number seems to be growing and definitely having experience in software related um, programs such as Excel, SPSS, SQL, PeopleSoft, and Colleague, all those sorts of programs are also a plus when it comes to getting a job in IR. One of the best parts about my job is that there's a lot of variety to it. You do everything from polling data to surveys, and it's 
you do all sorts of projects from all sorts of projects from state reports to uh, testing an initiative that a faculty member has done. Another bonus to this job is that your work is influential in that uh, the administrators will use the research you have done to make decisions about the institution. A strength and a weakness to this job is that it's challenging. It can be a strength um, because sometime, sometimes doing something, a report is like solving a, a puzzle and once that puzzle is completed you get a sense of accomplishment. However, sometimes the puzzles can be very difficult and if you have a deadline it can be stressful. And then another challenge to this job is that uh, a lot of people will be asking for things at once and you won't be able to meet all of the deadlines and people might not be understanding of the fact that you won't be able to get something done as fast as they would like for you to but at the same time a lot of people are. One piece of advice for having a career in institutional research is to have a general knowledge of how institutions run. Another piece of advice is to learn as much as you possibly can about research methods and statistics. Another piece of advice is while working um, on a project, document um, what you did in order to create that project because a lot of the projects I do are reports that are done on an annual basis and if you have um, some tips and tricks written down you'll be able to do the projects faster and more efficiently. Another piece of advice is that while analyzing data instead of um, going looking um, straight, straight for the answer right away is to um, really play with your data because you'll understand it better and you might find um, relationships between two different variables that you might have missed otherwise. Another piece of advice is to go to conferences and network with people outside of your institutional research office. They might work on um, really, you might meet people who work on, are working on projects that you could also um, work on at your institution and you can bounce ideas off of each other. In general, institutional research is a profession in which you get to work with others on projects and you also get to work alone. So it's important to have both of those skills and it's a great job for people who are in the middle of that introverted, extroverted continuum. And I'm one of those people and that's one of the reasons I really like my job in institutional research. Thank you.